Oh, that's good. You can just put Madonna's face directly in the camera. That's good. Oh, I'm sorry. It's good. Okay. There's like a kitchen downstairs, like a like a restaurant. So whenever they use the blender, <laughs> the, the sound comes in. Oh, I couldn't hear it. Okay, I'm, I'm glad. Don't worry, you're good. You're good. Everything's good. Take a deep Great. breath. Take a deep breath. <sighs> let's let's center ourselves. Let's yeah. prepare to let's talk, talk about, about Madonna. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about Madonna. All right, here we go. You're listening to MLVC, the Madonna podcast, your place for all things Madonna Louise Veronica Ciccone. I am your unofficial celebration tour correspondent, Stefan. And tonight on the show, we are joined by Mauricio, who attended the second night of Madonna's celebration tour in Mexico City. Welcome to the show, Mauricio. Hi, thank you, Stefan. I'm so happy to meet you and to be here. So excited. Uh, and uh, for those of you not watching uh, the show, if you're listening, Mauricio is wearing some of that fantastic bootleg merch that Mexico City is being well known for. Thank you for showing that off. Is there anything on the back, Mauricio? Can you turn around? Let's just see. Uh, no, I don't think oh, so. nothing on the back. No, okay. It's plain and simple. All yeah. right, that's fine. Well, it's so he's wearing a t shirt of Madonna from the 2005 Rolling Stone cover of her in that fantastic red dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the, the side swoop hair shot by Stephen Klein. She looks fantastic. Um, I might have to have you run back to the venue and grab me a, a copy of that t shirt and ship yeah, it to me. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. This, uh, so, much cheap, so much cheaper. <laughs> yeah, how much, are, how much are, what are they charging for t shirts over there? I don't know. There? Probably this, like 15 bucks. I don't know. Oh, that's it's pretty really good. cheap. Really cheap. Because I, I saw the official merch. I wanted to see the bomber jacket. Oh, my God. Oh, forget it's it. Like, it's eight thousand pesos. I don't know, like five hundred, five hundred bucks. I don't know. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan, but not a material fan. You know. <laughs> hey, I think that T-shirt looks pretty good to me. So. Yeah. Thanks that. Yeah, yeah I, I might have to. I'll, I'll ask you to get, pick me up one of those, and then if you if you spot any like a prayer Madonna merch, I, I might oh, okay. have to might have to have you get me some of that as well. And I'll I'll oh, of vent me. <laughs> And anything you want, we have everything in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, like, there's like it's like a whole tent city of yeah, merch. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I was looking for a couple of bedtime stories, or you know, some of the, but I couldn't find it yet. Yet, I'm sure someone has the same idea. <laughs> yeah, it's like a you've got like a like a uh, farmer's market worth of like you just go oh shopping and like I'm just gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the Madonna bootleg merch shop. Yeah, today. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's so funny. It's so much fun. It's so okay, much fun. so let's talk about celebration. Did you? So you went to the second show, only the second show. Only the second show. It was impossible to get to get any more tickets. So, so it was really hard. You have to have this card, and from this specific bank. And if you don't have it, you're lost. <laughs> so I really had to ask a friend. Uh, to stay in line, you know, in line because you you wait for hours in line in this digital digital line, and uh, thanks to him we could be able to get our ticket. But mm-hmm. They just flew so, away. So let me ask you: Did you had you seen spoilers for the show? So this is you because you, you've not you've not gone to any other dates, like right? You didn't you didn't fly to America or Europe, right? No, no, no. But I, but I saw everything. I mean, absolutely one hundred percent spoiled. Like I knew from beginning to end every single bit. But still, I really enjoyed it. You know, I, I was like, how how could you not see the spoilers? No. I don't know how I don't know how people did it. Like uh, I I was I was spoiling myself on the very first night, like opening night. I was like on my phone, (laughs) like watching like live streams on uh, on everything. No, my show was seventy seventh, the seventy seventh show. It was impossible not to be spoiled. And uh, but for example, my boyfriend that came went with me, uh, he didn't see 
anything. So he in reading, he's not such a big fan. As the, well, we'll, actually, we'll, we'll forgive him for that, Mauricio. Yeah, but he was, I could see like the experience of not knowing what's going to happen, happen through his eyes. And uh, it's really, it, it was a really revealing experience because I think it's a really good show. And I've been to a couple of shows, you know. So you have you seen Madonna in the past? Yeah, I was one of the lucky, one of many, many lucky Mexicans in 1993. I was 13 years old. I I got the chance to to see the girly show. Nice. And that was like my door into Madonna. No, uh, uh, it was an, such a wow, uh, groundbreaking for 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 me. No, I know Blonde Ambition. Is, it set that the uh, you know, uh, the, the, like the, the standard for the, the girly show was a life changing experience for me, you know? and I was really young, you no. Know? Yeah, I mean that's I mean girly show doesn't get as enough enough love, I don't think. You know, like Blonde Ambition was great, and you're you're correct. It sort of was like, okay, now this is how we're gonna do a pop concert from going on. Yeah. But like, girly show sort of took what was happening in Blonde Ambition and just like cranked it up a notch. Did you see it? Sadly, no, that I, I had, I, I um, was in college and a friend, I think I've told this story on the show before. My, my friend and I w- went into Manhattan to try to get tickets at the box office. And we bumped into a scalper who was like, I'll tell you, I'll sell you these tickets for 60 bucks. And so we did and they were fake. So we, no, oh my yeah, God, uh, it was no. heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. Uh, so we, we did not. So I got a t-shirt and a program and we went back to the, co- we went back to college crying on the train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. It was yeah. terrible. So no, I, 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 it was bittersweet to have like been at the venue and to like be excited to go. And then, Oh no, sorry. I'm sorry. These are fake tickets. <laughs> oh my God. No. No, but no, I've been no. to, but I've been to everyone since. So <laughs> ah, see, okay, okay, okay. I've been and to Drowned World. What, what, what did you? Yeah, I was gonna say, what did you see after a girly show? Drowned World, which was also wow, because I, because I, we were, we were all, we've been waiting for so long years, no, yeah. and and she came like like an icon, no. So it was a great, great comeback for me, one for for Madonna, no. Yeah, such a nice time, no. And uh, and then I saw Sticky and Sweet. Uh, oh, okay, it's the it was a nice show. I mean, but not my favorite show, but it's okay. And then I saw MDNA, which I think is a really, really it's so much better than the album. No, it's, mm-hmm. it's really it's a, it's a great show and it has this drama the, the, with the corset, no, and this it has this darkness to it. Uh, I really liked that show. Well, I mean, and you're that, an act, you're an actor, so I'm sure you enjoy her theatrical performances. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And no, uh, no, I, con- I no confessions. No, I didn't see confessions. She didn't come to Mexico. I saw Drowned World in Paris. I was, you know, traveling my Euro trip and uh, by myself, and I got a ticket and went by myself and I did that was like a you know a religious experience no <laughs> when you go by yourself to a Madonna concert wow it's it's such a it's a good experience I think everyone every single fan has to try that thing yeah you know, to be by yourself there este, and then uh, it's because then, then became, Mauricio when it's when you're by yourself at a Madonna concert then it's just you and her you know what I mean like you're yeah. not you don't have to worry about like talking to a friend or you know like oh. you can literally just focus on her the entire time yeah and she was singing live round world you know opening the for the first time she was opening singing live no yeah ah what a what a beautiful concert uh, but we're talking about celebration <laughs> yeah so okay so celebration yeah. where were your seats in that in, in the enormous mexico city venue and you know what? So I'm, I'm sure she would have, she would have filled a, a, a bigger place because they were five days, so five days that sold like you know, and uh, this was this is a big venue. It's like twenty five thousand people, 
I stay, but every time she came before, she went to Foro Sol, and that you can you can have fifty thousand people inside the, that forum. So this is big, but not as big as I was used to uh, mm-hmm. as a Madonna fan. So I was not that close, but this was the best. The best. I think this is a, the time I I've, I've enjoyed it more. Like. Uh, I wasn't that close. I was on the stands mm-hmm. on the left side where she does a, the like a virgin London Vision tribute tribute. Yeah. Uh, but then on the first stand where the stand where the, the stand area begins and that's the I was probably around it, it's probably 30, 30 feet to the to the stage, no? Well to that part of the stage. So you're not that close, but you get to see like the whole experience. Sure. And I was thinking about what you said. Yes, I, you can see all the, you know, all, all, everything in your phone. But once you're there, it's it's another thing. It's like uh, I don't know. It's it's so well put. It's it's it has such a good taste. Yeah. It's minimalist. I don't know. I I, I was really. Really happy all the time. So so euphoric. So euphoric. And the crowd looks amazing oh, yeah. in Mexico. I'm so proud of, of being Mexican in that sense because I remember when I saw the girly show, I couldn't understand what song was playing when she when she came up off the floor or up the floor. Uh, I was I was not really close, but not not so much in the back, but I couldn't hear the music because of the screaming in that wow. place. Wow. And I, re- I, I, I also, I, I think that happened too in this place. We were so, so euphoric. Like she's being treated as, as a queen, you know, here in Mexico. It's like she, she's getting the proper treatment. I think mm-hmm. she's really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was going to say after, <laughs> after five nights in Mexico, Brazil has some, has some high has some high oh. standards to live up to. No, I, I'm, Brazilian, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure the Brazilians are going to give it to her, but the, the yeah, no. I was going to say Mexico is definitely giving her a very good send off for her of last course. show. Yeah, because she's she's arriving into Latin America. O sea, because this was so we were so lucky that this Mexico was the last stop. Well, not the last, the first to last. Or second to last, I don't know how you say it in English, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, it was coincidence because I'm sure she was planning Argentina, Colombia, you know, before the incident, you no, know, before the the health issue. But then, then things changed, and, yeah. and the, I don't know the schedule of everybody or her plans, and we were so lucky to be the final stop because it's been 75, 77 shows, and. Uh, it's like a big, big performance, and she's giving it all. And she's sixty-five. She doesn't sit down. She's a warrior. She's mm-hmm. a she's a warrior. She's a witch. She has this magic. Uh, ever since I saw her in the blood, in, in, in the, first, the first time I saw her, she has she's so so little in size, but she has a magnetism. No, yeah. I think. Yeah, that's I, true. Um, well put. Very well said. I I agree. Ah, thank you. <laughs> this is like therapy for me because <laughs> I really need to let it all out. <laughs> yeah, that's what the that's what the podcast is good for. You know, it's like it is. It's I Madonna know. therapy. Like we get to sit around and and talk about a, a wonderful woman who brings such joy and happiness to so many people. You know. Oh, so Absolutely. let me ask you. Why, why do you like Madonna? What What is it about Madonna that like that drew you in? <laughs> I was in the, my first, the first, uh, the first memory I have of, my, of Madonna. I was uh, like a really nerdy. I was, and I was a nerd, always in the library and during recess, and I always reading. And I remember we were in art class. I was probably ten or eleven, and uh, uh, my classmates started to talk about. I have you seen Madonna? Who's Madonna? I didn't know who Madonna was. And in her video of like a virgin, she 
she kisses a black saint. <laughs> everything wrong, you know. <laughs> the information you have as an, an eleven year old, everything mixed. And I was curious to see who who she was. And then you know, adolescence started to kicked in, and I went in the. I, I like. I started to listen to rock, to grunge, Nirvana. Uh, you know, the, 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 see, the rock and roll and Mexican rock, and that was like my thing. But she came to Mexico, and I was like, and I had this fortunate situation in which I, got, I was able to go. I didn't have to pay for the ticket. As a, a cousin of mine worked with one of the, I don't know if it was Coca Cola or one of the sponsors, and we got the tickets. And, uh, and I was like, who is this woman? I really need to. And around that time, somebody gave me the erotica, that, the, for the erotica, the album. And knowing I was gay, well, no, I didn't know I was gay, but I kept it in the closet, you know, my, my taste for Madonna, like for my whole adolescence, no? So I was, I, I listened to her and I said, I went to the concert of Madonna and everybody was like, wow, how did you get in? <laughs> yeah. Is it true that they had an orgy on stage or blah, 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 no? And, uh, but I kept on listening to rock music, which I like. I like rock music. I like, I like, I'm very eclectic. But um, she spoke to me. I don't know. I don't know. She spoke to me. I remember the bedtime story video. I was like shocked. I, and then at 18, Ray of Light. And then when I see, and then I came out of the closet when I went to the university to college. I came out of the closet, and I, and I don't know. She was there with me, like the, mm -hmm. that's the thing that Madonna gives us, no? She's there in every single step of the way for you, yeah. and she's always changing, always changing, always. Even even Madame Mix, you may not like it, but it's totally different. Yeah. She took a risk. So uh, there's not one single album that sounds like the other in her image. Yeah, no, it's wow. true. I know. I mean, well, I mean, not to not to shade not to shade Taylor Swift in any way, but mm -hmm. I was listening. I was listening to the new the latest Taylor Swift, the poet, the poetry, whatever it is that the new Taylor Swift poetry album, and I was like, this kind of sounds like the last three albums that Taylor Swift's put out, and I was like. <laughs> I mean, God bless her. She's a talented songwriter and uh, her music's catchy. And, I, you know, there there were some songs on that album that I was enjoy enjoying. But I was like, give it up to Madonna, who every album, nothing sounds exactly the same as the last album. You know, like, yeah, and like you said, Madame X, like you might, it might not be your favorite Madonna album, but it still sounds different than Absolutely. Rebel than Rebel Heart did, and Absolutely. that sounds different than MDNA did, and that Absolutely. sounds different Hard, from Hard Candy. Yeah, exactly. Hard like candy. any, like you just keep going, and you're like, it's like each thing is different, 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 and that's why we love her. Yeah, and back in the day, I used to think she was a product because I I saw all of these pop stars in Mexico, and then they were all made by TV, you know, Dalí yeah, and all of those Latin pop stars that would imitate her. And I would, I would think she's a, she's a product. She's a very well-managed product. Mm -hmm. And I didn't give her that credit. And for, after Drowned World, probably, after Ray of Light, I was like, she does have something to say. And she's in every single decision. She's the boss of her own life. Yes. And you cannot say that about any other... Well, a lot of pop artists, no? Britney, for example, no? She's, she was a slave. Este, so, and she's, she's, you know, she's on the, on the top of the wave uh, for me. That's why I like her. It's, she's so strong and so changed. She's always changing and always evolving. And seeing her in celebration, I was so euphoric. I, I couldn't... I, I never felt sadness in any... I was really, you know, longing for Bad Girl because when I saw it in London in the O2 in the first opening night and I saw she was singing Bad Girl, I started to cry. Uh -huh. I, Bad Girl is like, wow, my favorite song from Erotica, no? And she was performing it 
so with such a vulner, vulnerability, you know, she's so vulnerable, bah, that word, vulnerability. Vulnerable, <laughs> we got it, we got it, yeah, <laughs> I got it. It's in Spanish, yeah, exactly, yeah, with her daughter, you know, and uh, it's, I mean, it's, uh, I, but I wasn't so, uh, she messed uh, the first verse, sometimes she does that, no, she starts thinking, singing the second verse, and then she goes, she fixes it, so I, I didn't get into the song live, as much as I, in the videos I, I've watched, but uh, I saw a different Madonna. O sea, I saw a human being, mm -hmm. an extraordinary, extraordinary, extraordinary human being, and I saw a mother. I saw someone who was coming to terms with her age, and uh, yeah, like also thinking about death, you know? Yeah. She's like this painting of Rida Kahlo, Pensando en la Muerte. She's like that painting. She's thinking about death. And there was a lot of death in the show. No? Yeah. It's a theme. And, and in, 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 in the second speech, she said, I see these videos around me. I see, I see Michael Jackson. I see Prince. I see George Michael. Everyone's there. I feel like I'm walking in a graveyard. Mm. Oof, that was so moving. Because we don't give her, I, well, I do. I give her enough credit. We do. Some, we, I think here, the, we do. Here we on do. this show, here on this show. Yeah, but the world, you know, they get fixed and, oh, what did she do to her face? No? Este, and nothing. That, that makes me angry. But mm -hmm. I think in Mexico, the, she's really feeling this respect she deserves no? Amen. this love she deserves and i hope she's happy yeah i yeah I, she looks she looks joyful she looks like she's yeah enjoying the crowd what were your what were some of your favorite moments from the show die another day mm -hmm. uh it's not my favorite song but oh my god and justify my love that was like a hypnotizing moment so I was like, good. ah, erotica. And then I was, you know, drawn into a whirlpool of, I don't know, it just took me somewhere else. And uh, Giant of the Day has these symbols and this, I, she's like a witch. And she's acknowledging, you know, I'm a witch. You know, I have this power. I love, honestly, I was like, I love witch Madonna, you know, like, I love you, witch Madonna. give me, so, give me witchy Madonna. I don't, I, you know, like I could see a whole movie of Madonna as a witch. I know that she, story. So she, yeah. she, she played a witch in four rooms, but that was like yeah. this tiny little role. Like it, she barely, yeah. you know, like I, I want like a, I want dark witchy Madonna or something. I don't know. Yeah. 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 She played, um, well, no, 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 you're right. Yeah, you see, I was mixing some. No, she she was supposed to play Catwoman, no? And she was supposed to be Trinity in, mm -hmm. in the middle. Yeah, so almost witchy, very kind of witchy. Uh-huh. Um, I, I wonder it's a shame. what... shame. It's a shame she did. Yeah, I know. I, I wonder, like, in a in a in an alternate universe, the 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 world where Madonna actually did do the Matrix. You know, like, I wonder <laughs> what that. I wonder what that would be like. Probably in that world, Michelle Pfeiffer had done Levita. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> now, see, I love Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, and I I remember when Cat when that movie came out, and I was like, oh, I wish Madonna would have done this. But I I love K Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Ah, yeah, she, she's a better actress. Like it's just it's just amazing. Like it's, no yeah. one else, no one else could have done that role. Yeah. But I would have loved to have seen Madonna do like an action movie. Like that would have been fun. Yeah. Sí, sí, sí. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so uh, so those were your, like, favorite moments from the show? Yeah, yeah, well, the opening, of course. Uh, see, it's it's like, such a great opening. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, I know. There's Well, and I think also for you, you know, I mean, I'm sure the Ray of Light songs resonate a lot because if you were coming out at the time when those songs were, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. it's, I'm sure it takes you back to that time. See, I came out of the closet a little later, uh, almost with Beautiful Stranger, you know. Mm, uh, oh, well, I mean, da 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 You know, it's in just... Between, a, in between those You're two, just, you're listening to Beautiful two. Stranger and you're dancing yeah. out of the closet. That's yeah, a perfect... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, uh, for example, I was like, 
I, I saw this interview you had, you guys had with um, Vince Patrick Peterson, Patterson, the, the, the Vincent, the choreographer of London Vision, and his observation on the show was so uh, enlightening for me because he said uh, the, um, she needs a director, no? He said she needs a stage director, no? A theater, a theater director. A theater director, and I, I think she, he, he, he's right. But, for example, my boyfriend didn't know anything about the show, and I told him, what do you think? He's, a, he's an actor as well, a theater person. No? So what did you think about the, the, the story that was being told? No? Could you see, like, a, and because uh, I, I did this comment, I made, I made this comment about London Mission and Grilly Show and Drowned World of having acts, no? As opposed to, like, a single song and two songs in the same style yeah. and then another song. Like, there were so many switches, no? I mean, uh, and he said, no, I think it's the best opening because she's, with nothing really matters, she's going beyond time. She's saying nothing really matters. It's just love is the important thing here. And I'm going to take you into your journey. I don't need to do another song like nothing really matters or with the geisha or Virgin Mary thing. It's this song. Let's change the, you know, the track. And this is the 80s. So come on. Now let's do this. Lead uh, to tell. Uh, honoring the, the victims of HIV. Or so. I don't know. It's, I was so joyful all the time. Now, then at the second day, I remember what you said. I felt like uh, sad the mm. next day. Sad because I, I think she's. I really. I don't want her to stop. And I. Th I never. When I saw the show, I. I was like, this, is, this woman is not gonna stop. She's not gonna stop. But maybe this is the last time that we see this type of a show, and it will be okay. You yeah. know. I know. I. I think. I've been doing a lot of personal, like reckoning about that. You know yeah. because. I I do. I wonder. I'm like, I mean, I know that artists tour well past 65, you know, yeah. like Cher and sure. Stevie Nicks and the yeah. Rolling Stones. I mean, all of these people, you know, they, they, Tony Bennett, you know, I mean, these people performed well into their seventies and early eighties. So it's, it's very likely that Madonna will continue to do that. But for some strange reason, they're, and I'm not saying that this is this is the end, that she's never performing again, but there does seem to be like this is the like there's a bit of finality to this where yeah, you know, it's she's like, looking back. Yeah. She's looking back. And she never she never I mean, I, I hope she does do more performing, but will it be a tour of this scale, of this size? I I mean, obviously we don't know, you know, and we could we could counter out. And she always says that as well, you know, like, I mean, she's been saying she's going to, she's not going to tour again since the 90s. Since the early show. Yeah. Since the early show, actually, she's. You know, she's like, I'm done. I'm never, I'm never touring again. And then here she is, you know, so, I mean, you, you never say never, but um, I, I, yeah, I do wonder what would be next. You know, I mean, I, I was thinking, you know, if she's going to tour again, uh, she's probably going to do the tour that she wants to do it's not going to be uh she ain't, she's not going to do a greatest hits she's going to do like uh here's my new album and uh, that's all i'm doing is the new album uh -huh. and if you don't like it shut up <laughs> you the know classical madonna yeah i know i know i know i know and i actually i would love that i would love for her the, to switch it up it's a good album yeah for her to like it just do because she's never done that she's never done just the album from start to finish like that would be fun just to shake it up like just here's here's 12 or 13 because it's madonna she it would it would be it would be 13 here's 13 new songs and i'm just going to perform it from start to finish there you go that's the you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well if it's good enough if, if she really works with the weekend i i don't know why i i like pray that she would go back to the his to her 80s producers, no, with uh, Pat Leonard or and uh, uh, Stephen Ray, mm. uh, 
because I, I really love the comeback of Stuart uh, Price, and but I think that the weekend could could understand that. Yeah. I really want I really wanted to work with a producer producer that uh, that is willing to know her because what happened with Hard Candy is these guys didn't care for her, no? and I think I do think. There are good songs in Hard Candy, no? The devil wouldn't recognize you, uh, no? Uh, but as a Can- whole... Candy Shop? Uh, candy Shop, she loves that <laughs> song, oh my God. But I also, and, and, you know, one thing that I missed about Celebration <laughs> was the Candy Shop. Was that I was expecting something. I was hoping for, for something of everything, just... I was expecting for something from my breathless. I was give me give mm. me more, please, or give me back in business, or do the little one, the one with, with Mandy Patini. I'm going bananas. I'm going bananas. Oh, I guess. oh, oh. So, what what can you lose? What can you lose? What can you lose? Or give us something of who's that girl? Give us something. Give us this used to be my playground, or I'll remember. I don't know. But well, but I, I mean, if she was gonna do, she, if she was gonna do all of that, I mean, we would have got, just gotten no, no, like, no, I know, I know. we would have gotten I'm, like little sentences. It would have just been like, know, you know, this I used to be my to. playground, and then she would have had to move on, you know. No, no, no. But why didn't she do a medley? It's, she's never done any medleys. She could have done a medley. Well, she of, did. So remember, in Rebel Hearts, she did do that one little medley uh, with, you know, I mean, it, it wasn't. The, but see. She yeah. when she was doing those medleys, they weren't the 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 studio versions. They were like these alternate <laughs> versions or whatever. And yes, I, like I said, I think. I mean, I've said this before. I think instead of the Michael Jackson tribute, I would have preferred absolutely just do a medley of a whole bunch of the other songs that you didn't do the rest exactly. of the show. Like you can just, start with Angel. Do the, yeah. do the Michael Jackson exactly, tribute. exactly. Then, you, you, you're you already Angel starting. You know, just in. come out, sing a few bars of Angel, make us shit our pants, yeah. and then we'll yeah, like, th- like, then just do like Borderline, Lucky Star, Like a Did Virgin, you do Material Like Girl. a Virgin songs. No, she, she skipped Like a Virgin. Absolutely. Yeah. No. Yeah. I so probably I love Burning Up, but I, we've seen with her Burning Up. I'm, I'm, I, what am I? I'm talking to myself here she never listens to us and, and no she doesn't time, know and you, it's like did. if we had asked her madonna you have to do this she would be like no 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 see but her voice right now is in a good place i think because even though she's dancing and most of the time she's hitting the notes no most of the, the, the time she could really sit you know mm-hmm. on a stool and uh, on a on a, see, on a Sit and do the ballads, no? Like Kylie did. And stay. Yeah. She could do something like that. I, I, I don't know. And she has to do something with Kylie. I said, if she doesn't do a duet with Kylie, it's like, what is happening to your brain, Madonna? You have no, to. No, do- I'm telling you, I think there's a, I think there's a Kylie collaboration coming. I, I pray for it. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. I, I please. Yeah. Oh, and so then let's just talk real quick about the uh, ballroom guest. So you ah, got, you I got to see be. Alberto Guerra. Who... You know what? Alberto Guerra, I worked with Alberto Guerra. I, I, I co-directed Alberto in a play like a couple of years ago. So I personally know Alberto. Oh, so are you are you dropping him a note to let him know we'd love to have him on the show? Um, see, I could. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a fan of Madonna, but he, they interviewed, uh, I saw an interview of him after, right before he went to the show, and uh, he had done the pictures. So the, the reporter asked, I said, I tell us about Madonna, your experience, blah, blah, blah. How is she like? And she, he said, oh, I'm, I'm, not sur- I'm not surprised, but she's a woman with a lot of humbleness. And her feet are, are, are on the ground. Mm-hmm. With her feet on the ground, and I'm, I was like, a lot of humbleness. Oh my God! Was that like, what was that? Like, I, I was my brain went like, what is happening? Because that wouldn't be that wouldn't be like the first adjective I would use with Madonna, no. No. <laughs> but it was really revealing because Alberto, who is not a fan, 
is a famous actor and gets to work with Madonna and he's nervous and everything, but he's not a fan. So she's like having a, you know, a chat. And he said he, she's really a well-educated woman, a very gentle, very, you know, very, uh, she's always asking, stay very interested in the other person. Mm. So I, I, I said, probably that's why she got, if this is true, <laughs> if what Alberto is saying is true. This is like the missing element of why has she been able to get so far and to be so strong and to overcome death, no? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It was quite revealing. So, uh, you know, I envy Alberto absolutely. Jealous. Yeah, he, well, and he looked, he's beautiful and looked like he was having yeah. a, fun, a fun time on, sh on stage yeah. with her. He's a very good actor, and he's a he's a sexy man, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. this yeah. is it. I, I had never heard of him until I, I was when I saw the picture of Madonna in the magazine. I was like, "Who's that guy?" And who's the never guy? Seen, seen and I was like, "Let me let me Google, Google, Google." And then, um, <laughs> follow. I was, uh, but he wasn't the best guest in the sense of uh, the gay community doesn't know who he is. Yeah. Or, or actually they do and they're, they're like, why are you there? <laughs> you know? And also the, it was the same reaction with the first guest, you know? Because that guy is from Jimmy Kimmel and yeah, yeah, yeah. he's Mexican, but he's a Mexican living in LA and we're not really related to him, you know? So it was like, ah, why is he there? Yeah. But I think what she did yesterday, when, um, if you have a guest for a night, uh, number three, you'll 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 see. It. Oh no, you can spoil you can spoil it. Who 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 was guest? For she guest? Uh, Wendy Guevara. She's a trans woman who just won a, a reality show competition called the La Casa de los where she competes against famous people. And she she comes from like the social media, but she's so authentic. Authentic. She's so funny, and uh, she just uh, we were. She became like the most beloved. Uh, personality of uh, TV in Mexico, like recently, really recently. She's she has a lot of followers, and she's a really funny woman. And uh, uh, we were so well, I was so shocked that she was there, and uh, that was a nice move. I was like, okay, whoever told Madonna to put this woman on stage is a friend of Madonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because this is gonna be so much, so so good for her. Yeah, it was, so and that I don't know if you saw that picture. That's such a sweet picture that she posted today of her resting her head on Madonna's shoulder. So it's a picture from the end of the catwalk, and they're facing the other way. And it's such a darling it. little picture of because yeah. you can really see the love of the what's the woman's name again? Wendy Wendy, Wendy. Guevara. So you yeah. can see how Wendy, like, you can see how much it meant to Wendy. Like, I don't think Madonna realizes how much of a moment that is for some people, you know, like. Yeah, for some like, people, yeah. Most you know, like, I mean, I can speak from per my personal experience, you know, well, like. Oh, my God. Yeah, you, you, you went on the, you went to the, and the, you were on an apologetic, an apologetic beach, no? <laughs> yeah, and it's like, it's it's such an overwhelming moment, you know? So, like, yeah. I, I get it, you know? Like, I, seeing that picture of Wendy with her head on Madonna's shoulder, I was like, that's so sweet and so beautiful. And, like, for Madonna, I mean, she meets people all the time. You know, like, it doesn't mean anything to her, but to, to Wendy, like, she's going to cherish that the rest of her life. Yeah, but she doesn't see. But I think it, you're, you're right. She it, she meets people of the, all the time. But I've seen the shows, uh, all of them. Was I've seen part of the of every single one of the shows, and uh, see this time she's really having a connection with Mexico because the first time she came, she went to Brazil. She went. She did Argentina, and the second time as well with Sticky and Sweet, and also it's her time with MDMA. And then on Rebel Heart, she just came here, but it was a different era. It was mm -hmm. a different time. And uh, but now, she's she must feel really happy. And she she talked about Frida and about how how she's her spirit animal. And uh, 
and she came from Mexico and Mexico is an amazing place and she likes art. And this time we really feel like she's happy to be here. Yeah. And not just on a schedule. Like she's happy to, I, I really hope she's filming the shows. I think, you know? yeah, I heard that, um, uh, it's, t- uh, tonight and the next night it's the, okay. ah, the yeah. official one. What about Rio? Rio, they're broadcasting it, but I don't believe that that that's that that'll be broadcast for the the bank, like the banks broadcasting that on Brazil TV. But okay. they're filming the, the for the tour film in Mexico. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, so the what, so what Rio. what okay. they're filming in Mexico will be what we'll see when they put it on oh. whatever whatever streaming what about, platform. What about LA? Didn't she film in LA? Ah. Uh, there were rumors that she was, but I don't know if that was official. Okay. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. We'll. Uh, no, yeah, I like, really hope it's Mexico. Come on, I really. Hope I know it's it, they're definitely they're definitely filming in Mexico. That for sure. I really for sure. hope it's Mexico. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you yeah. you got to see you got to see her warming up for the filming. I really hope so. See, when I see, I hope so. Yeah. I think. See, I'm sure she's not gonna get the clip from for for bad girl from her concert because she she messed it up <laughs> well they film it a couple times you know what i mean yeah. like they yeah, yeah, and yeah. um and look i mean if she's not happy with it look what you, you know like what she did for madame x she just go back and film it or film it again you know ah, like, of course yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but um uh, well mauricio i greatly appreciate you taking the time out of your day no, to, you. to come and speak to... and and tell me your thoughts um before you go, there's a little yeah. segment we like to call the lightning round. As you know, these answers, these answers are meant to be quick off the top of your head, wherever you're at in your Madonna journey. So don't think too hard. Okay. Favorite Madonna song. Till death do us part. Nice. I love that yeah. song. That's a beautiful yeah, song. Yeah, I love that song. It's been on my radar ever since and see. I can't stop listening to it right now. I know it's gonna change, but right oh, of course, now. yeah, as it does. Um, and FYI, somebody had so we had when we did the like a prayer uh, album anniversary episode just recently. Um, I talked about how you can hear at the end of "Till Death Do Us Part." It's like it's. Not, I thought it was a car pulling away, but I think it's. I think it's a motorcycle. And somebody was like, "Where do you hear that? I don't hear that." At the very end of the song, it's almost like as the song is fading out, uh, you can hear it's the sound of what I assume is supposed Sean to be Penn. Sean Penn's motorcycle <laughs> pulling away. And oh, it's at God. the very end. It's so cool. You have to really crank it up and you can hear it. It's right before the song yes. fades out and ends. Um, Isn't it great? That that but like song somebody, somebody was questioning me. They were like, I don't hear, I don't know what you're talking about, Stefan. I, wh- where do you hear that? And I was like, I started going crazy and I was like, don't gaslight me into, I'm like, I know that that's there. I'm like, I lived this album in 1989 when it came out. I'm like, I know it's there. And so like, I had to go and then like listen to it right away. And I was like cranking it up in my ear and I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, see, it's there. That motorcycle's there. I was like, Oh, and it's the first time she talks in a song. Have you Mm. noticed? Like you never laugh. You never laugh. Not like before. That part? Is no, 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 no. That's not the first time she's ever spoken in a song. She's spoken to everybody. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was so proud she's of my discovery. She's spoken to everybody. She's spoken physical attraction. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. There's, I mean, come on. There's, yeah. I was gonna say people would come. People would come come at you for that. They'd be like, "I'm so sorry, Mauricio. <laughs> how, you know, <laughs> what kind so of sorry. fan is he? He doesn't know." Yeah. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's forgiven. You're it's forgiven. <laughs> you're, you're a handsome man. You're forgiven. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, favorite Madonna album? Uh, bedtime Stories. Mm, mm-hmm. Good one. Favorite yeah. Madonna remix? Oh, uh, Junior Vasquez uh, Secret. Isn't that so good? Uh, that should have been the single, you know? Uh, they. I mean, I love, they were playing that on the radio nonstop. <laughs> Easy, absolutely. Loved it. Loved it. Uh, favorite Madonna music video? Ah, this is a hard one. Um, I have to say Bedtime Story. Uh, I thought you were going to yeah. say Bad Girl. No, because Bedtime Story is like a piece of art. 
said, these are coincidences. Yeah. The hell? I it just, takes you I, in a turn. I was, I was obsessed with that Bjork hair that she had with the, yeah. su- the sunflower spinning behind it's her. so beautiful. Oh, it's, it's so, so beautiful. beautiful. Mark Romanek did such a good job. She like, looks beautiful. She's a witch. In every, in every shot. In every shot. Like, I love the, the sunflower shot. I love the shot of her on the screen, the black and white with the brown hair with, like, uh, the little pigtails. Yeah, oh my god, it's so good. It's look, there's See. so many her flying down the See. past the kids with and the, the long dogs blonde hair. flying out of her belly. Oh, it's so good. It's it's so good. I don't get tired of seeing it. I can yeah. see it. It's, it's I, yeah. I'm gonna have to watch that again because I just I love it. That video is beautiful. Um, mm-hmm. favorite Madonna tour. Ah, this is the hardest. Uh, this is very personal. Drowned world. Because of uh, the timing of my, you know, she she was looking into the future, no? Mm. She did no hits, and all of the music was great. And that was the first time the music sounded like the album, because before she had a band, and she changed it a lot. And this time, she, she stuck with the, with the sound. And welcome to the stage, Stuart Price, very young. As a, and the last time with Nikki and Donna. You know, and uh, see, no, and the squats for God's sake, the squats. Oh she God. flew. I, I saw it in Paris by myself, and when she flew, I was, I lose, I lost my mind. I was like, wow, this is really an icon. This is the queen of pop. Yeah, you know, see, round world, such a beautiful piece. Mm-hmm. Favorite Madonna movie. Okay, I haven't seen Who's That Girl and I haven't seen <gasps> the Susan. Oh my. I haven't seen God. them. God, Mauricio. I've seen everything else. Shame. I, I also wait, haven't wait. seen. So you haven't seen Who's That Girl and you haven't seen what? The Threadly Seeking Susan. Oh my. I know, I'm a terrible what? fan. What? Yeah. This is. How have you not seen Desperately where, where, Seeking Susan? That's like the Madonna movie. Where do you see it? Where? Where can I see it? On st- just on s- streaming. Netflix? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have a Madonna viewing party for you, so you can watch okay. these movies. Like, okay, thank we're you. Gonna, yeah. We're gonna sit you down, <laughs> and we're gonna find these movies so you can watch them because see. that's uh, that's almost like a crime that you've not seen I know. either of those. I know. Like those are cool. those are my two favorite Madonna movies. <laughs> How have you not seen them? Oh my god! Uh, but wow. I have to say, when of all of all of all the others, uh, a League of the Wrong. Okay. The Wrong. Okay. All right. I, I'm just thrown. I, I, <laughs> uh, okay. You're gonna love Desperately Seeking Susan. It's a it's a time uh-huh. capsule movie. You know, it's it's a great '80s movie. It's a great New York movie. It's a great Madonna movie. And then, who's that girl? Is just like silly and crazy and ridiculous and um, killer. Sound and she goes for like, it. She, she goes for it. She goes for an accent. Yeah, no? she's great. Nikki Finn forever. I, I got I, you know. Nikki Finn forever. Yeah, yeah. I have to see um, favorite Madonna look. And this okay. can be from it can be from a video, a tour, uh-huh. a photo shoot. I'm going to go with Tita Parlo in the girly show, the opening. Ah, I mean, iconic. Yeah. Iconic. Yeah. And with the short hair. Uh, so ballsy. I, that was so ballsy. I mean, I know that she had to because she over she over bleached it. And so she had to cut it, but it was still a ballsy look for her. Yes, 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 yes. And that's, yeah. Uh, well, Mauricio, thanks again for, for coming on to, do you, are you on social a lot? Do you want to share your yeah, sure, your Instagram yeah. so you can get a lot of followers? I, I'm in Instagram as uh, uh, Mauri Galaxias. That's M A U R I, and then Galaxias like Galaxy, but we, instead of I E S I A S Galaxias Galaxies in okay. Spanish. Mauri I'll, Galaxias. I'll, I'll tag you so that way people can find you. Okay. That is not a very intuitive Instagram See, handle. And I want to I wanna take this opportunity to, to thank you because uh, all of you guys, but you especially, because this, this role that you played <laughs> of uh, the unofficial correspondent, 
I mean, you're so generous. It, it, you do this out of love for Madonna, and you have the patience to talk to all of us. <laughs> How can you do that? This, I really admire you. Oh, and thank I really want to thank you from the bottom of a Madonna fan, uh, because you guys, you guys, but especially you with this work of uh, interviewing us, You've created a sense of community in us, and and that's ah, you, that's a beautiful gift. Thank you, Stefan. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I I appreciate that. Um, and remember, everybody, you can find MLVC on Instagram, Twitter, and Threads at MLVC Podcast. If you'd like to donate to the show, we're on Venmo to MLVC Podcast, or smash that super thanks button so you can donate that way. If you've not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, tick that subscribe button so you never miss a video. We've got what three shows left? I think tonight, yeah. tonight, yeah. Saturday, and then Rio. And, Rio. and I think Rio is in 10 days. So, wow, like counting down. I, I can't even imagine what uh, everyone working on that show must feel at this at this juncture. Like to know that there's three shows after this, after tonight, two two shows left. Like that's it's it's bananas. It's a big reward. She deserves it. They all deserve it. They really work hard. They deserve totally. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. See, they, it's, they deserve uh, the million and a half people that they're gonna have, and uh, I really hope she changes something. I really hope she does something different. I hope there's a surprise too. Like, I, I have a feeling she's keeping it. At, I mean, well, because you notice she's gone back to rain in Mexico. Yeah, because I, she she came. We were we were in a we we're currently in a drought, you know. We were longing for the rain to come. Madonna lands on Mexico City and it starts raining. She's like a goddess. <laughs> 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 so somebody told her and she changed it. She did her rain. spell. She did her witch spell she her and she was like, spell. "Here's the rain." Here's the rain. Yeah, she's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mauricio, stay where, you, st stay where you're at. We're gonna we're gonna end the live. Everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. Until next time, stay there, stay there. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't move. <laughs>